What are you eating, Luca? What is that? I don't want that. What kind of hot dog is this? A forever hot dog. A forever hot dog? That is just for grown-ups. It is? It's not for kids. Is that why you don't like it anymore? Hey there, little guy. What are you doing on my tire? I went when we were at the campground. You went potty? Mm -hmm. Me too. Look at that dog. It's green. It's a green kite. It's a green dog kite. Well, look at that big hawk kite. I want that hawk. I want that kite. <laughs> I want that kite. The kite's pretty awesome. Give me that kite. You want to do that thing? Mm -hmm. yeah. You did it before. Right there. Right there. Right there. You've done it before. Yes, I have. Was it fun? Mm -hmm. I don't know how much it costs. Oh my gosh, it's expensive. It's $10 for four minutes. <laughs> Do you have $10 for four minutes? I don't know. Mm. That's why nobody's doing it, because they're charging too much. It's just, nobody's using it at all. They need to drop their price. You did it like three times last time. Mm. You didn't? Was it fun? I can show you video of you doing it. Oh, so sad, so sad, so sad. You want a spoon or you want a flurry? Um, flurry. Okay, do you want M&M's or Oreos in it? Uh, don't drop it, okay? It's very tall. That's okay. Lucas. Luca, yours has uh, M&M's in it. M&M's. Yeah, what do you say? Thank you. Thank you. Show me a secret candy. Dig one out. Red. Red one. The blue and red and green. No? Where are they? <laughs> oh, oh. Don't spit it out. Oh, there it is. Okay, eat it. Ew. <laughs> the only thing they have that's my size are these yellow ones. Not into these, huh? No disgusting feelings. These are no good? These top setters are no good? No good. Okay. We just heard that there are eight sites left at the campground at Cavendish in the National Park if we want to get in there. So we're only a couple miles away. We're busting out of this boardwalk place and going over there. Is there a site open next to them? There's three total for two nights. Okay. That's eight. Waterfront tent sites. Oh, we're pretty close to waterfront tent site. We're just off to the side. D95 is our jam. Oh, we do have plugs. Oh, we do? Yeah. So it should be across the street behind you somewhere. Somewhere? I, I, yeah, we're right there. I, I texted you, but you didn't get back to me. Oh, yeah. Oh. There were notice. Let's go set up. So, we're not going to really set up because we might go back into town. Okay. I don't know. Is there anything to do there? Went to the boardwalk. Um, and was, yeah, jeez. Oh, yeah. It's t shirt chaps. Now, my spare flip flops. One of them was missing. Turns out it was under my seat. It's really windy and gusty here. It was really windy at the last campsite, too. So. I apologize for all the wind noise because I'm just shooting this on my phone. I don't really have a way of putting a windscreen on it, but I'll try to think of something. I mean, look at that. They're going to be pretty upset when they come back and find their, their tent basically a disaster zone. Let's go check out the water. It's not totally warm. Probably about what California water is like on the Pacific coast. Low 60s maybe. A lot of people at the beach today. It is the weekend. 
I'm gonna maybe take you guys on a small tour of this campground. This is called Cavendish. And the best sites in this campground are these tent sites right here by the water. So basically right where we were, where the beach is, that's right below the other side of these campsites. And the RV site's gonna be over on the other side. We didn't have any reservations, so we just took what they had, which turns out to be a pretty good site. Just around the corner from the waterfront sites by the beach. So once you walk further away from the beach, you get closer towards the trees, that's where the RV sites are. And because of the trees, these sites are uh, a lot better when it comes to wind. All the trees kind of shelter these sites so you can be in here, even if it's blowing pretty hard out by the beach. So there's obviously pluses and minuses about both locations. And I don't know if I would have preferred these RV sites or not. They're big, they're sort of gravel, paved-ish, and they have hookups. We have hookups too. We're paying a little over 30 Canadian dollars per night. We were able to get two nights. So yeah, if you see, now that I'm back here, there's hardly any wind. These sites are a lot like the ones that they had in Riding Mountain National Park where we only stayed one night as well. Riding Mountain National Park is in Manitoba, I believe. So it's a pull through with electricity there, water here, big open space. And they have just these truck rims for uh, fire pits everywhere, which is smart. Use something that already exists rather than uh, Spending money, effort, and resources building new things. I'm a yoga yeah. mat, and I'm Diamond gonna get, Dave. I'm going to get judged at the park hard right now. There's going to be so many looks. Mm. If and you find Sapphire Steve, I'll do his. <laughs> you got to huh? exercise too, Dan. Mm. Point the camera up. Spoon whatever you want, and then put the lettuce all over the top. How's the food? Yeah. You guys like it? I use the tandoori sauce. And you're spreading all the sauce on the meat all around on the right. Okay. Mm. A lot of food in your mouth. Crazy wrap. What's in here? Let's see. Stew beef chunks with potato and tandoori on the ground. <laughs> Dropped all over. Mila, maybe you need help. Ask one of us to help you. I wonder who's gonna come eat this off the ground now. And then uh, salad, kale salad from Costco. And rice. In a wrap. Uh, I'm gonna have that dream, I think. Were you trying to make yourself have a Pikachu dream? <laughs> I, I want the Pikachu dream. Yeah, me too. How do you make it happen? Think about it a lot? Yeah. Let me know if it works, okay?